Good morning. My name is Tanya, I am from Portugal and work at the Polytechnic Institute of Lisbon. This study was also developed by my colleague who is also a professor at the Institute. The title of our study is Governance, Ethics, and Social Responsibility of Entrepreneurs. This presentation brings some investigation we did on social responsibility in terms of its theoretical foundations and presents some conclusions for future research. We believe a responsible attitude reveals a social consciousness based on understanding of the social issues. We found that entrepreneurial ecosystems that stand out are those that identify entrepreneurs as the main stakeholders and focus on how they interact with other stakeholders in interrelation. However, the discussion on the social responsibility of entrepreneurs in relation to various stakeholders is still underdeveloped and diffuse in the literature. It is also worth noting that there is a technocratic impulse defending that managers may adopt unethical actions and relegate stakeholders to the position of mere objects or means. This line of thought starts from the premise that managers are in a web of interests and objectives that are often conflicting. Therefore, it is justified that management be understood as an area with an ethical political dimension with objects of study. It is in this context that this study analyzes ethical orientations and theoretically tests the hypothesis that the social responsibility of entrepreneurial companies and entrepreneurs is based on ethical intuitions. Starting with the topic social responsibility of entrepreneurs, we would like to add that, Although social responsibility in an organizational context is increasingly present today, this is a topic that has been addressed and studied since the 1950s. For several decades has been the subject of intense and sometimes controversial debate. The concept was initially associated with obligations and voluntary actions beyond the economic and legal objectives. Thus, from this perspective, Corporate social responsibility was exhausted in the sole objective of generating profit. One of the most popular definitions was proposed by Carroll in 1979. Shows that the best performance is associated with fulfilling economic and legal responsibilities but also ethical duties and philanthropic activities. So, in addition to considering that economic responsibilities are an integral part of corporate social responsibility, it points to profit as a non-selfish condition of capitalism, without which the other responsibilities cannot be fulfilled. It is in these contexts that social responsibility has been the subject of intense and controversial debate and different approaches have been built and developed around ecosystems. Also, economies demand new ideas, products and technologies leading to identify entrepreneurs as main stakeholders. Relationships became involved in a network of a challenging system of interactions composed of financial intermediaries, universities, suppliers, customers, and, among others, the state. This led us to highlight three stances of the manager that may also be stances for entrepreneurs. In the first position, the entrepreneur believes it is necessary to incorporate common and current ethics because businesses have their own set of rules and thus their own ethics. In the second stance, the mission of the entrepreneurial company is to maximize economic benefits, prestige, and power, viewing means as acceptable if they lead to the end goal, and considering business as business. Finally, in the third position, the entrepreneur believes that ethics should be limited to the minimum, which might coincide in compliance with the law and market rules. Another important thing is that ethics is not limited to a single perspective. It often refers to a set of rules that supposedly govern or guide behavior, but when applied to the entrepreneurial profile, the question that arises is why one should not ignore social responsibility. Therefore, there are profound commonalities with philosophical roots and social responsibility has enabled analysis of how one acts. The implications of utilitarianism, for example, may translate into the maximization of efficiency, such as achieving maximum production with the least amount of resources. As for the implications of ethical egoism in the organizational context, it may manifest when entrepreneurs act in their own interests and seek to satisfy their own needs. Regarding the implications of justice as fairness, in terms of social responsibility, it may imply a rigorous control of environmental impact, 
a moral obligation of justice to avoid and to correct the effects of actions. Also, an entrepreneurial company may distinguish itself from another by engaging in social actions out of a sense of righteous indignation, a sensitivity that results in active solidarity in the face of others' suffering. We conclude that ethical foundations seem to foster the improvement of awareness and contribute to fairer and more compassionate human relations. Consequently, a socially responsible attitude of entrepreneurs reveals their social consciousness, based on their understanding of the importance of social issues, and their intention to contribute positively to the social transformation of society. In summary, the ethics of social responsibility also studies the behaviors and business decisions that impact individual and social well-being. Also, in the case of the behavior of entrepreneurs, it can be concluded that they are strongly related to ethics and social responsibility in their relationships with other stakeholders. Therefore, ethical foundations may lead to the improvement of social awareness, human relations, and responsible attitude of entrepreneurs. Thank you very much for your attention.